I urge Floridians to finalize your storm preparations now, enact your plan. I highly encourage you to evacuate. We are preparing, and I have the State Emergency Response Team preparing for the largest evacuation that we have seen most likely since 2017, Hurricane Irma. But to that end, I want to go back to our basics. Evacuate if you are in an evacuation zone. If you are not in an evacuation zone and your house was built in, in conjunction with the Florida Building Code, which pretty much throughout the state of Florida means after 2004, you may be better just to stay in place. If you are dependent on power, you will need to evacuate. If you're dependent on a special set of circumstances, you'll need to evacuate. But if you're not one of those individuals and you're inland, not in an evacuation zone, it may be better for you to just stay in place. All right, morning updates as follows. Just met with Hillsborough County EOC, talked to Pinellas County EOC. What we are expecting is in the Pinellas County and Hillsborough County regions, so Tampa Bay, if this hurricane is projected to go the path that it is currently, we are expecting flooding up to nine feet in certain areas. So if you're in flood zone A, also too, if you're in the barrier islands, it is likely only a matter of time before they do the mandatory evacuation orders. So if you don't have a lot of money to travel, which a lot of people are tight right now, what we are hearing is east of 75 so it goes 10 miles inland you should be okay there's gonna be a lot of rain a lot of wind remember you're gonna shelter from the wind and run from the uh, run from the water that's the motto that you're using if you are in these affected areas please do not take this for granted this is coming directly at us as of right now we already have super saturated ground because of the previous flooding with Helene this is going to be worse and a lot of these people that are not with us now unfortunately are not with us because they chose to stay so please do not take this for granted please leave all right, so we are currently, it's Sunday. It's, we're currently in the path for Milton, um, Tampa, Florida. It's not looking good right now. It's gonna be, I think, a way heavier storm. This is what our street looks like right now. Debris everywhere. All the way down there, all the way down there. If this, it's 110 mile an hour wind with a storm surge, I just pray to God the house doesn't to get destroyed. I mean, if the storm surge is anything like the rest, or last week, or even bigger, it's it's going to be extremely detrimental. Like, Tampa's already going to be fucked, and everything south of Tampa. But we're getting a U-Haul, trying to pack up as much stuff as like, we can. This is the first hurricane ever I'm leaving for, so... So I want to talk to the ones who call us crazy. I want to talk to the ones who think that we're liars, who thinks that we just make this stuff up to fit our narrative. I want to talk to y'all. I want you to explain your way out of this. Hurricane Milton was an extremely powerful category five hurricane. Was past tense guys that caused widespread damage across its path in October, 2024. Milton formed in mid-October and reached category five strength on the Saffir Simpson hurricane scale. Milton caused catastrophic damage in Mexico and then Florida. There was a book released on the 23rd of September that talked about Hurricane Helene and its devastation to Tennessee and North Carolina. They are planning these storms before they happen. Look up all the patents. Those white lines in the sky, the long ones, those are called chemtrails. The short ones are contrails. We know the difference. And we also know my weather said Friday was going to be 77 degrees, partly cloudy. Then they sprayed us. Yeah, you see it, Friday, a.m. thunderstorms. So Friday, I went from having sunny skies, getting sprayed, to now a.m. thunderstorms. So you help me make it make sense. That how we can go from blue skies to getting sprayed with all those chemtrails to having massive storms within a day or two. They are using the weather against us. They, the government, do not give a shit about us. 
We, the people, have to care about us. We, the people. So drop your damn politics. Drop your egos. And let's unite both sides to take down this tyrannical government. Because they are not our baby daddy. They're not our friend. And they don't give a shit about us. And if you still don't believe us, go find the Air Force whistleblower. Go find that lady. She's been blowing the whistle for years. But here we are, still fighting, still calling each other liars. Even with the whistleblower. We're still sitting here, oh, y'all are lying to fit your narrative. Go find that testimony. Go find her. Because I've seen it. I watched it. She clearly was blowing the whistle, saying she didn't want to spray the chemicals. You know what they did to her? They made her life hell. But y'all want to sit here and still argue and call us liars. How about you pick up your fingers and start doing some research and do your country a lot of good. And I'm not done yet. I got one more thing to add. I've got a buddy who lives in Jacksonville, Florida, him and his wife. And he tried recording FEMA before a Hurricane Milton was even thought of. He went down there to where this FEMA was staging in Florida, Jacksonville, right? Didn't even, no hurricane was supposed to, nothing was ever mentioned about Florida. But they were sitting there staging. Now look, now they're there and set up in two different locations. FEMA has. Won't answer any questions. You have to think outside the box of what these people are doing. You have to put two and two together. It's four all day. I don't care what your common core math says. Two plus two equals four to me all day long. They are manipulating our weather. They're causing this destruction. They're trying to come after we, the people. It's clear as day. You just need to understand that.